I'm back. It is Wednesday morning. Welcome everyone to another edition of Outside the Box. I hope everybody is doing well. It's supposed to be a gorgeous day today. Maybe not gorgeous, but warmer at least. So let's get outside and run. Now, if you can't run or don't want to run and you have a machine, we'll do that as well. We're gonna start with the warm up, and then I'll take you guys through the, the scaling options or substitutions for the workout. We'll talk about the workout, and then we're gonna hit it. Um, and we have some fun planned for you guys. Matt has sent out the clues. He is giving you the challenge, and we're actually gonna do the challenge one at the end of the workout today, and I'll get to that as well. Warm up today, two rounds, 20 high knees, okay? Then, kneeling to standing both feet down. We're going to go 10 times. Okay, alternating legs as you go. Then we're going to, we're going to do um, 10 groiners with T-spine opener. Take a step. Open up. Always a good thing. We're going to do 10 here. Five each side. And then we're going to finish it off with eight count body moments uh, or eight count burpees. What you do is, is you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. And we're going to do that five times. Uh, if you need to go to your knees for the push-up, that's fine. If you need to limit range of motion, that's fine. We're going to do two rounds of this. We'll get into mobility. Let's start. You ready? Three, two, one, go. High knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Kneeling to standing. One. Make sure you're alternating legs with this. So I'm stepping down with my right, step back up with my right. I'll step down with my left, I'll step back up with my left. Just trying to get the blood flowing. Hopefully you guys have better music than I have. It's the screech and squealing of the vent up there, which is awful. It's all good. Last one. Good. Okay, let's go right into our groiner stretch. I'm gonna take a step forward, open up, it's one. Remember, when you do this, try to plant that foot flat on the ground. Sometimes if you're a little bit tight, you'll come on the ball of your foot. I'd rather see you drop that knee down, plant that foot. So drop your opposite leg down, plant the foot, and then open up to the top. We have 10 total, five each side. Six. Maybe that was seven. Let's do two more. Good. Let's get into these eight count burpees. Hopefully everybody's with me. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 20 high knees. Here we go. One, two, three, eight, 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 19, 20, good. We're gonna go right into kneeling to standing. Back with my left. One, back with my right. Two, back with my left. Three, back with my right. Four. Five. Six. Trying to keep my chest up the whole time. Nice and tall. Let's do two more. Lost track. Okay. Corner stretches. Take a step. Open up to the top. Alternate. Get a good stretch of the hip flexor. Want to make sure we're really opening up. Feel your shoulders activate. Feel your trunk rotate and open. Good. 
Three more each side. One more each side. And we'll go to our eight count burpees. Good. We're gonna stand up for a second. Let people get ready. Catch a breath. Eight counts. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go right into mobility. I want you guys down on hands and knees. Catch your breath from those eight count burpees. We're gonna reach out in front with the crease of the hip to be above the knee as we stretch. Maybe slightly lift the chin, get into the shoulders. We do have burpees today and the burpee box jump over. We also have wall ball shots. And you've probably seen the Wattify notes. If you don't have a wall ball at home, if you didn't get one from the gym um, or you don't, you, you don't have one, we, have, we can substitute in an open barbell. Let's walk our hands out to the right, get into the lat a little bit more. We can substitute open barbell. We can substitute lightweight dumbbells, okay? It needs to be light. The wall ball, RX weight 2014, 20 for men, 14 for women. So don't grab 50 pound dumbbells and start doing this. Um, you can, because it's gonna be max effort reps, right? Uh, you may wanna consider doing one dumbbell. You may wanna consider uh, loading up a backpack, getting a weight vest sandbag, something light where you can keep moving. The idea is not to um, have it real heavy we're walking out to the other side here. And then we're gonna go to a standing straddle, okay? Standing straddle, it's gonna about, be about four or five feet apart, a little bit of deeper stretch through the adductors, and I want you guys to just hang out here, just relax. If you have a plate at home, you can do thrusters with the, or uh, sorry, yeah, basically thrusters with the plate in substitution of the wall ball shafts. If you don't have any equipment at home, um, Load up a backpack, at least do that. Maybe do a goblet squat. You could just do air squats if you wanted to. It'll still be tough because you'll be moving for a long time. Okay, let's come up out of that position. Tie my shoe, we'll talk about the workout. Today's workout is five, five, four minute AMRAPs. Each AMRAP has a 400 meter run buy-in. As we talked about, it's supposed to be a little warmer. Hopefully you guys can mark off at least a 200 out, 200 back in your area to do a 400 meter buy-in. If the distance is too much, or you're not a big running fan, take the distance down. Um, I'm honestly gonna do the true form and I'm gonna take it down to 300 uh, because that is very similar to running outside 400. Uh, I'm, I may push for four depending on how, how I'm feeling, but 400 is the goal and take it down as needed. If you have a rower, you can do a 25 cal row for men and 20 for women. And if you have an assault bike or echo bike, uh, sorry, sorry, if you're doing the, the row, it's 30 calories for men, 25 for women. If you're doing the bike, then you're looking at 25 calories for men and 20 for women. Just one off the calories, uh, just because some people may not know how to uh, adjust their bikes to meters. Uh, you could easily do a 400 meter row uh, or a 500 meter row, either or on the rower if you'd like. Okay, so those are your options. Again, check the notes in Wattify if you're not sure and have a game plan with what you're gonna do. Uh, here's how it works. Five four minute AMRAPs, the 400 meter run buy-in, and then in the remainder of that four minutes, we're gonna do max effort wall ball shots. We get to rest one minute. We'll go into the second AMRAP, which is again the 400 meter buy-in, and then max effort burpee box jump overs. We'll show substitutions for that. Then you'll rest a minute, you'll go to a four minute AMRAP of 400 meter run and max effort wall ball shots. Rest a minute, round four is back to the burpee box jump overs and the final round is back to the wall ball shot. 
The goal is to try to keep moving the entire time, but you're more than welcome to break it up as needed. Uh, and when you finish, we're gonna total up, uh, total repetitions is the score for this workout over all of the movements combined, all five rounds. All right, so hopefully you guys are ready to run. Uh, I'm gonna show you the movement standards. Obviously we have the wall ball, always focus on laces out, crease the hip below the knee. We're gonna shoot to a 10 foot target. If you can't get to 10, find another area um, outside that's close to it and, and just focus on that. If you guys don't have that and you have an open barbell, uh, go for open barbell thrusters. I'll show you with the dumbbells. We're gonna start here, okay? We squat down, we thrust up, squat down, thrust up. You can also do it with one dumbbell if you need to or you only have one dumbbell, okay? What I would recommend is that you do five on the right. Once you finish five, I need to break or switch five on the left. Okay, so you can mix that up five and fives, you can go 10 and 10, whatever your strategy is. If you have a plate, okay, I'll show you with the weight vest, or you have a weight vest or backpack. I'm just gonna bring this into the front rack by holding each side. Squat, thrust. Okay, so there is that option. Remember, it's going to add up even if you just do your basic air squats for those times. When we get to the burpee box, jump over. Uh, we're gonna get chest to the ground. We're gonna jump up. You don't have to stand up and over to the other side. You can also do the step up. Okay, now I like to turn to step back down. So either of those options, find something sturdy, chair, bench, uh, cabinet. Whatever it is that's sturdy, you can use it. And if you don't have anything, just do burpees. Okay, if you want to make it challenging, throw that backpack on or that weight vest and do burpees with the backpack or vest on. Okay, let's get going in this workout. Can you get a timer or a remote? sip of water. You guys ready? Starting in about 15 seconds.
90 seconds. Five seconds. Remember, you get a minute of rest. Twenty seconds. Forty-seven. Woo! Big first round. One minute rest. Good job, guys. Catch your breath. Write your score down. Get ready for burpee box jump overs, burpee step overs, regular burpees. Burpees over your dumbbell, barbell, wall ball maybe, if you want to do that. Uh, that's your game plan. 20 seconds. Runs are going to slow. Probably try to stay consistent. Two, one, go. Second hand round. Watch your legs, guys, and get heavy. Got something sharp edges. Make sure you're ready for that jump where you take a step.
Set in. seconds. Two rounds out. Guys are doing great. Back to wall ball. Try to focus on our run or bike or row, whatever you're doing. Round three, we gotta get through this round. Come on. Three, two, one, go. Sets, save my shoulders a little bit. I'm still shooting for 47. Twenty in. Got right, twenty seven to go. Thank you. 
30 seconds. Can I hit another 10? Got close. Not bad. Guys, work the hump. Two to go. Take your rest. Catch your breath. Sorry. Yesterday was my first workout in two weeks. I'm out of breath a little bit. Sure, everybody is. It's a max effort. But I'm happy to be doing this with you guys. I want to thank you guys for your continued support, jumping in, doing these workouts, sharing these workouts with the community. We have a lot of people from outside affiliates that are doing this as well. People across the country, people across the world, actually. So we appreciate your support. Shoot, we're in it. Here we go. Round four, we're back to burpee box jump overs. Last time I fell off by about 20 meters. This time maybe another 20. But I'm gonna try to stay focused on my current pace and hold that. So my legs have a little bit of energy for these burpee box jump overs. Remember, if you got sharp edges or you get legs a bit heavy, go to step ups, it's fine. Sure gonna do a really good workout in. Maybe you'll get more reps in. start. Two minutes. In round one, shoot for 15. In round two, watch that clock. I'm gonna have seven in by three minutes. I'm gonna have it.
last time. Just had a better pace. One more round. We can do it. Run out of battery. I got 20%. So I got time. May have to save the challenge though, once I explain it, just to be safe. So I can get this posted and uploaded for you guys the rest of the day. Or else only those lucky ones that are joining me at 5 a.m. are gonna get to do this workout with me. 15 seconds, let's do it, last round. Training in silence, it's good for your mental state. No distractions, shouldn't need the music. Just focus on your goals. Little goal, 400, under two. Set to eight on mobile, eight, seven. Come on. Little off, nine meters. Try to pick it up. streets, especially right now. Two minutes to do wall ball. I'm doing eight. I'm tired, but I'm focused. Seven. Minute twelve. Eight. Eight. Forty five seconds. We're gonna hit over 30. Stay with the plan. Seven reps. Seven. 30. Now we gotta pick it up and go. You got 15 seconds, you get seven reps here. Focus on the right, not the time. Two more. Go through. Okay, good. Good job. 
I got 37. My scores were 47 wall ball, 18 burpee box jump over, 40 wall ball, 18 burpee box jump over, 37 wall ball. The potential is off a rep or two, but oh yeah, it was a great workout. I need you guys to cool down for a minimum of 10 minutes. Walk, get some water, stretch your, excuse me, stretch, stretch your shoulders out. I'm not gonna do, I need 10 minutes before I do this workout, we don't have that battery life. So I'm gonna explain it and you don't wanna sit around for 10 minutes with me. You guys can do this at your own time. Here is the challenge workout. Number one for the Terminators terminating challenge. You're gonna have four workouts over four days. These workouts are to be done that day, videoed, uploaded to YouTube for us to make it public so we can see it or send the link to Matt at threekingsathletics.com. Matt, M-A-T-T, -T, at threekingsathletics.com spelled out. The winners will be receiving a gift card. Travis winning the run, won a Born Primitive gift card. And uh, we have some more, and we have some other gift cards to the store and other sponsors. So here it is. With a four minute clock, you guys are gonna hold the plank position in a push -up. The shoulder needs to be directly over the wrist. The feet need to be inside of the shoulders, not outside. The shoulder, hip, and knee cannot break and you have to hold this position. In the video, if your hips break that midline, your clock stops. If your hips go up um, over that midline, your clock stops. If your feet are outside of your hands, your clock stops. So when you videotape this, we'd love you to be right on the screen. Okay, you can see my awesome hairline. LeBran. And this is where we want you to stand. And we want you to be, so that way we can see this actually I lied, let's go two thirds angle. So that way we can see a break. We can see wide. Okay, we can see that, we can see that. We can't see all that from head on. You have a max of three minutes. Every second you hold is one repetition. So if I hold for one minute and 41 seconds, that would be 101 seconds or 101 points. <coughs> At the three minute mark, you're immediately going to start a max effort of butterfly sit-ups. You can use an ab mat. I've got a yoga mat I've rolled up because I don't have an ab mat to give me some lower back support. This will assist. So wherever you need it, okay? Soles of the shoes have to stay together. Hands go down, the arms can be bent. Come up and touch the toes. During this one minute of max effort, every repetition is a point. And unlike the plank, you are able to break and rest at any time. So if I'm able to get 41 repetitions in the minute, then I have 101 points from my push-up plank hold and 41 points from my sit-ups for a total of 142 reps. Submit your scores well, we'll judge the video, and we'll make any adjustments that we need to, all right? If you make it the full three minutes, you get a total of 180 points, but your clock starts immediately into the butterfly sit-up. Four minute time clock, max effort, plank hold in the push-up, three minute time cap, every second is a point. At the three minute mark, so if you break, you're resting until the three minute mark. If you make it all the way through, you go right into butterfly, sit-ups. Hands touch the ground, hands come up and touch the toes, not the heels, the toes. Okay? You can break at any time and then we'll submit a total score. That's the Terminator Terminating Challenge Workout 1. We will see you guys tomorrow. Love you.